You know, the history, from what I understand and from what I knew purchasing it, it was uh, actually an active um, train station with the rail service, I believe, to New York City, all the way up until around 1965. The building itself is an incredible building from an architectural perspective, and it lends itself to just a cool building. I saw an opportunity, and I had a vision, and I followed it. There are certain things we've renovated here, but there's also things that continue to exist that, again, I mean, how many things can you say have survived 100 plus years? You know, and some of the things have created history, such as the, the worn out floor in front of the ticket booth where people used to purchase tickets. That's something that I would never want to get rid of, you know, in a renovation, even if I had to carve that section out and try to maintain it just for that simple purpose. Even the steel structures over the canopy, I mean, to put those things up and embed them in the brick and embed them in the concrete, and to know that that's been holding that roof up for 100 plus years, I think is pretty remarkable. Right off the highway, in just a very short distance, it takes you into the, to the heart of downtown Binghamton, where there's just incredible architecture but you have everything within 10 minutes from zoos to sports arenas to baseball stadiums. Um, during the summer, there's always different types of festivals going on, whether it be the July Festival or the Dick Sporting Goods Open or the Speedy Fest. There's a lot of wonderful things that go on that are affordable and downtown and Binghamton itself is becoming a much more vibrant area with a, a lot of youth and a lot of youthful ideas. So it all contributes to uh, a more vibrant downtown Binghamton.